what is up guys welcome back to another flea market grab video if you guys are enjoying the videos please hit that like button it lets me know drop a comment down below and subscribe if you are not already so on my way to the flea market right now so let's go see what we can find this week how much do you want for these air maxes uh, i'm asking uh 15. 15. I thought these were the pure monies until I saw the clear souls. So these are those, I forget what they're called. I was there from like eight o'clock in the morning to like nine o'clock at night. I haven't found this in a while. Disc only, but whatever, it's five bucks. Little 3M13s, but they're size four and a half wide, and they're scratched up on the toe. Let's see how much he wants for them, though. How much are the shoes? How much? 15. 15? Okay. 15? Jeff Gordon? It's <laughs> really clean too. Historical. How much is this? Three dollars. Three dollars. Okay. How much is the hat? $2. Two bucks. These are cool. Always happy to see dollar hats. Beetleborgs. Like I used to watch this when I was little. What is up guys? Welcome back to another flea market grab video. So today's video is only going to be one day worth of finds. Because I wasn't here yesterday, Saturday, I was actually at Dallas Fan Expo and I was there all day so I didn't get to go to the flea market yesterday so this is going to be today, Sunday's finds. But I did find some good stuff in my opinion so I'm going to go ahead and show you guys what I got. So the first thing I actually grabbed is a copy of NCAA 14 on the PS3. Which if you guys don't know, which I'm pretty sure you do know by now, this game was the last NCAA football game uh, released. So this one does have value. With the case and everything, it's probably worth around the $50 mark, but this one's disc only, so maybe like $40, if even that. But I did end up grabbing this for only $5. Uh, it does have these little scratches right here on the front, so I'm not sure. I'm going to test it, but I figured for only $5, why not take the gamble? Um, it is disc only. It was just thrown on his table, 
Um, and I seen and asked him how much he wanted for it, and he said five bucks. So I went ahead and grabbed that. And I used to find this game all the time, but now it's getting harder and harder to find it because more and more people are starting to figure out that it's actually worth something and they're starting to pick it up. But I remember I used to find this game like every other week. These next three games I grabbed because they were only a dollar a piece. Uh, the first one is Soccer on the NES. This is one of those original NES games that just have like, you know, the single title. <laughs> soccer. Like golf and stuff like that. Um, I don't think I have this one, so that's why I picked it up for only a dollar. The second one I grabbed for only a dollar is a copy of Dead Space on the PS3. Uh, only reason why I picked it up is because it was only a dollar. Uh, it is the like black label Dead Space case, but then on the inside you have the Greatest Hits disc. But it was only a dollar, like I said. And then the third one, probably the best one of the three, is a copy of NFL Street 3 on the PS2. Personally, I never got into the NFL Street games like I know a lot of people did. I know these were really popular. Um, I had a friend who was really into them too. And I used to play them every once in a while, but I never got really, really into them like a lot of other people did. But this one is complete with the disc and the manual. The disc is in pretty good shape. You got Chad Ocho Cinco on the cover. So for only a dollar a piece, I paid three bucks for the three. So I got two hats. These I got two for five. She originally wanted four dollars for one and two dollars for the other. I just told her she would give them to me both for five and she said yeah. So the first one we have is this Chicago Bulls hat right here. On the front you got Bulls with the trophy and then you got 91, 92, 93, 94, 97, and 98. This one is a Velcro back and on that Velcro snap you do have the Chicago Bulls logo but then also on the back you have Fuji Film. This one is by Kick 10 Pro Gear, uh, I don't know. But I figured for only two bucks, why not go ahead and grab it? And then the second one I got is the Detroit Tigers snapback right here. And as you can see, this one is new with tags. And this one is by Logo 7. You still have the cardboard insert on the inside as well. So you can never go wrong with a new with tag snapback. And that's those two for five. And then the last two things I grabbed, as usual, I got two pairs of sneakers. So these two pairs of shoes, I got two for 25. They are gonna need some cleaning. I'm just letting y'all guys know ahead of time. <laughs> but the first pair I got is a pair of the Air Max 95s right here. I don't know exactly what this colorway or like this release is called, but it's the one that has like all the ends on the tongue. And as you can see, these do need some cleaning. By the time I do like the overlay footage, I'll have cleaned them up. But as of right now, I just walked in the house and I decided to film this real quick. <laughs> so this is like fresh from the flea right now. Shout out Mick. But these are a size 10 and a half. So if I did want to keep these, I could, but uh, I don't know. It's an okay colorway, but I don't need them. There is the other one. Um, if you guys want to, y'all can let me know what this colorway is called down in the comments. Uh, I don't even know if it has like an official name. But I got those. That's the first pair I got two for 25. The second pair that I found is a pair of the all white Jordan 3s right here. So when I first picked these up, I was like, oh, they're a GS colorway because of the shoelaces. They kind of threw me off. But then I was like, oh wait, no, they're pure money 3s. They just threw laces in them. But then I was like, wait, they're not pure monies because they have the icy outsole. So these are those all white ones that came out. I don't even know, I forget what they're called. Uh, I, for, I actually forgot all about these until I just found them. So I guess somebody threw these laces in them to try to give them some pop. But I should have some white laces laying around somewhere. So I'll go ahead and throw those in, clean them up a little bit um, and see how good they clean up. There's like no cracking on the midsole, so that's good. Just, these are just pretty dirty. These are a size nine, so they are not my size, but I wouldn't keep these anyway, because I've mentioned in the past that I don't really like these all white shoes, because they're just really hard to take care of, personally, in my opinion. Still a cool shoe to like beat up, and um, I mean, you can just basically throw these on with anything, I guess. So that is those two for 25. But anyway, that's what I picked up at the flea market this weekend, guys. I hope you guys did enjoy the video. If you did, please hit that like button, it lets me know. Drop a comment down below and subscribe, and I will see you guys next week with another one, so later. All right, guys, so after editing last week's flea market grab video, I realized that it was really short, so I decided just to go ahead and hold off on that one and uh, wait until I picked stuff up this weekend. So now I'm about to show you guys what I picked up this weekend and just combine it with last week's to make one decently long video. Let me show you guys what I picked up this weekend. So I actually picked up four hats for a total of $7 total. The first one for only a dollar, I picked up the Ohio State Buckeye Starter Snapback right here. This one was actually in the uh, video where I showed you guys how I restored my hats. So as you can see, it's already reshaping and everything. You got Starter on the back, Ohio State on the left side, and then Ohio State Buckeyes on the front. There's the Starter tag. This one was dirtier when I found it, but like I said, I've already cleaned it up a little bit. And then for $2, I picked up the Logo Athletic Broncos Velcro back right here. This one also was in my restoration video. You got Logo Athletic right there on the left side. Broncos on the front with this like, with this square pattern going on. 
You got Proline on the back and Denver on the Velcro back. There's the logo athletic tag and then Proline on the other side. I've actually owned a Hot Wheel hat in this same style, so when I found this one, I thought it was kind of cool. And then these next two hats, I just picked up on the way out. Uh, I was leaving and I seen these like on the last table when I was leaving. So I just grabbed them. Uh, they were $2 each. First one is just this Vineyard Vine strap back right here. Nothing crazy, it's got the pink well on the front and on the back Vineyard Vines. And there's the tag, um, and that one was 2 bucks. And then the last one for $2 I grabbed uh, from the same person with the Vineyard Vines is this Squirtle strap back right here. Front you just got Squirtle breaking through. The left side you got his name. As you can see it is a strap back. There's the tag, Pokemon, gotta catch them all. And then on the other side you got the official Nintendo. And this one is by Head Start. I just thought this one was cool, so I just grabbed it for two bucks. Now we're gonna get into the shoes. So these shoes I spent $15 each on, uh, so I got a total of three pairs. So I spent a total of $45 on all three of these. Starting off with shoe number one, we got a pair of the Air Max Pluses right here in the wolf gray colorway. All these needed was a cleaning. As you can see, I cleaned them up um, and they look good to go. They do have some of the white paint missing on the midsole, but I don't know why it's always, every time I find a pair of these are like that. These are a size 11, so they're too big for me, um, which kind of sucks because I do like this colorway. It kind of reminds me of those Sport Blue 12s that came out. But as you can see from the insole, they are still really clean. Um, maybe you can see that. And there's the bottom. So I figured for $15, I'd go ahead and grab these. For some reason, every time I find a pair of Air Max Pluses, every time they sell on eBay, they always go to Canada. I don't know why, I guess these are really popular in Canada. These next two I got from the same vendor. Um, I asked him how much they were and he said 15. I thought he said 50 at first, uh, but he was like, no, 15. So I just went ahead and grabbed both of them. And the first pair is the French Blue Sevens right here. These ones are a size 10 and a half, uh, but Sevens run really big. So there's no way I can fit these. I would need like a nine and a half, maybe even a nine in these. And as you can see, they're not in perfect condition, but only for $15, uh, I would be crazy to leave these. Here is the other one. I've yet to clean this one up. Uh, I cleaned this one up, but not this one yet. So this one's still a little dirty. And you see it does have a couple little scuffs right there. But that is the French Blue Sevens for only $15. And then the second one that I picked up for only $15 is a pair of the Powder Blue Threes right here. Personally, I think this is a very underrated colorway. I really like this shoe. I remember when they first came out, I wanted them, but I never got them. And then my cousin got them. I figure now I can find them eventually for a cheap price because these don't really, people are not really looking for these. But you just have this all over Powder Blue upper powder blue elephant print and then the on the inside you have like a silver liner um, it kind of looks like elephant and then you got that silver jump man on the tongue and these again are not in bad shape as you can see uh, they're barely missing stars here is the left one the small issue with these is they have some little small light stains on the toes as you can see but I'm still gonna try to get that out but other than that uh, just a dope shoe overall in my opinion so those are the sneaker pickups for this weekend and I got those $15 each those are my flea market grabs for this week, guys. I hope you guys did enjoy the video. If you did, please hit that like button to let me know. Drop a comment down below and subscribe, and I will see you guys next week with another one. So, later.